Hey everyone, today is day 63, but before we get to the beer money portfolio, I want to give an update on my actual Atlas Earth account because I'm about to break a milestone. So first off, I recorded a little bit of myself back at the ballpark a few days ago, and I'm about to show you that shortly. And um, then I will go over last night's mini game and show how all of this has helped me reach this milestone today, and we'll talk about that milestone afterward, all right? So let's go back a few days to the ballpark. I didn't really have much time, or I didn't know quite where to put it, so better now than never, I guess. And I will show you where we're at on it. So I'm going to start out by adding some older deleted video footage of the Road to 5X that I had where I grabbed some of the Playground and the Kinetic Club in Atlas Earth as well as putting the finishing touches there and that was from the previous month and that is what you are seeing right now. And here is the leap day. Pre uh, Super Rent Boost parcel grab. I was aiming for 112 parcels to grab to get to the break even 4x tier number of 900 and uh, 975, though, was 100, but I was going to get 987 after the 112 parcels that I've grabbed. So I was originally going to show this video as is. However, the camera did catch a significant amount of some copywritten songs. So I decided to go check some older, the older deleted video footage that I showed you just earlier now. And yeah, basically more of the same. So I had to make the decision to take out the audio parts of this so I don't get a copyright strike and simply show you the video portion. In the future, I'll have to remember to do this on Mondays or mornings as they are the only days I have noticed that they are, you know, quiet consistently. Well... Live and learn, I guess. Uh, thankfully, when I record the eclipse, I expect me and my wife to be in a small town somewhere in Texas, so background music shouldn't be an issue there for that short most of you wanted instead of a long, non-beer money related video. And yes, I am going to make that a short. Uh, after seeing your polls and your comments, I've decided I'm going to do that. But I'm still wanting to make a video on it, just like on like travel and saving on travel in general and just Atlas travel in general, so... So that got me to 987 parcels after those couple of visits, and last night's golf marathon would get me the rest of the way. I had set aside 400 Atlas Bucks, and my goal was to get top 25 and win the state, as I usually do in the golf mini games. And I want to do it in as little time as possible, because I am lazy and I want to do other things. I'm sorry, six hours is just insane, and I really should just make a video just complaining about how long mini marathons, weekly mini marathons are. Uh, but that's another video. Uh, so this time, it was my worst performance yet, spending about three hours and 45 minutes getting to 150 wins only to find out that the threshold for the marathon fell all the way to 137, which was a 8-win drop from the previous marathon. So I could have stopped about 15 to 20 minutes earlier, oh well. But I did spend a grand total of 236 Atlas Bucks, um, that is, you know, with some profits from the spinning, and I won 1,035 Atlas Bucks for a profit of 799, not bad for a little under 4 hours. It left me with 1,199 Atlas Bucks, which put me about 101 shy of getting the last 13. So after a few ads and then getting about 91 Atlas Bucks from the login bonus plus Explorers Club at midnight, that put me over 1,300. So I just went outside. I got 13 random parcels and including another legendary to hit the milestone 1,000 parcels. And uh, this is just in case you're wondering why uh, all of a sudden my Atlas Earth calculator is full of ads here. It's because I am using Edge for my normal Atlas Earth account, and I don't use an ad, I don't use an ad blocker for Edge. Basically, uh, my Brave browser is using the calculator for my simulated account, so that's why you're seeing a bit of a difference here. So anyways, my 1,000 parcels contain 493 common, 323 rare, 
139 epic, and 45 legendary parcels. The latter of which is quite the jump after having a serious drought of legendary parcels at around the 6x tier that tanked my performance percentile from the 90th in my 150 parcel uh, run down way back in 2022 all the way down to the 11th percentile. After getting an above average number of parcels in the last 125 though, that included 10, yes, 10 legendary parcels of the 80 or so that I grabbed at Stadium Lofts, um, yeah, it brought me back up to the 23rd percentile, which is nice. It's now a bottom quartile instead of a bottom decile. Um, I did get the rest of the parcels at Kannapolis City Hall, and I didn't get any legendary parcels there. As I mentioned, of the last 13 parcels that I got following the minigame, I did get one legendary. Um, I still do need five legendary parcels, however, to get back to average. I have also been noticing that I no longer sleep only seven hours a day, and I'm actually having a slightly longer sleep schedule these days. So I have readjusted my uh, monthly here and based it off of 22 hours per day with boost rather than the 23 hours per day. So that's the reason why it looks a little bit smaller here where I have a per month of $38.36 given that we have two super rent boosts a month. Otherwise, I'm looking at 63 and a half cents per day on a normal day. And then for 32 hour super rent boosts, I have $11.29. So going back a little bit for the month of February, I got an increase in the number of Atlas bucks for the month at 14,471, which is exactly 499 Atlas bucks a day on average for the month of February. That is up from the 405 I got in January. Two major factors contributed to this, a Day 90 Explorers Club login bonus, and having a 33 Atlas buck to $1 conversion in the middle of the month. I'm going to go over each category from top to bottom, and at the top, Explorers Club, obviously, is the biggest earner with 4,304 Atlas Bucks this month, and that is due to the day 97 and 14 bonuses that gave me an over 800 Atlas Buck increase from the previous month despite only having 29 days. In second place, and this was coming a bit of a surprise to me at first, and that is fishing, with 2,047 Atlas Bucks profit. And I think part of the reason for this is because there were four fishing events in February compared to only three in golf, which is why for me, golf fell to third this month with only 2,003 Atlas Bucks profit. On average, though, golf is still the bigger earner for me by far. Fourth place was ads, 1,932 Atlas Bucks. Um, this being a significant drop down from January, and part of that is because I just don't pay attention to my ads nearly as much as others do. I mean, I'm lucky if I'm pulling around 60 to 70 a day most days, and despite having a lot more focus in January, it seems that for this month, I've gone back to that normal. Uh, fifth place is the conversion, converting $58 to 1914 Atlas Bucks. I will tell you this, though. I will definitely not have this in March, whether I decide to cash out or convert partially because I have already cashed out $5. I did that for the content. Other categories to go over include 945 Atlas Bucks for Racer and... It was right around the end of February where I started burning out from minigames entirely, and in some ways I sort of still am. I'm glad that at least for now Atlas Earth is going for three minigames a week, although I honestly don't know how much longer that's going to be. And yes, the categories for minigames will suffer as a result if they keep it at three a week. But even at three a week, it's been leaving me with a case of burnout. I could not imagine what it would be like if they were pushing this to four a week, five a week, six a week. I'd just go crazy. And I think that a lot of others would just suddenly start opting out and decide, I'm not going to play in these mini games anymore. Like not going to play in Racer or not going to play in Warship or in AJ's case, not going to play in Golf. I felt that the uh, end of February, I just got really burnt out of just the same three days a week, playing 11 hours a week, to a point that I didn't even participate in the Sunday Warship Marathon event. Now, hats off to those of you that did. You guys have way more endurance than I do, but I was focusing more on finishing another game, Power World, 
and I was trying to focus on that and just having a little bit of fun and relaxing before uh, I had to go to work the next day. Um, I did participate in the golf one though this Sunday as you saw earlier so I got right back on the horse but you know what one of my goals in March we're going to talk about this I'm probably going to scale back a little bit on my minigame participation and I know that's going to be a huge gasp from other people out here be like well aren't you, don't you want to push yourself towards the whale status or the uh, end game player status basically of 1700 1800 parcels and of course I do but not at the cost of my own sanity, and I'm definitely starting to feel that. Uh, matter of fact, just on the racer event alone, I've started to just drop down to top 500, play 35, uh, 35 of those wins, basically, and then just call it a night. If I feel like it, I'll try to make a push for top 50, but other than that, I'm just kind of, mm, you know? So, uh, yeah, um... Speaking of that race, like I said, 945 Atlas Bucks, 726 Atlas Bucks on Warship. As I said, I opted out of the last Warship event of the month. Um, and then 290 for the wheel, 230 for referrals, and 84 badges. Now, my main goal for March, as I said, is going to be a little bit more personal. I'm going to scale back a little bit. Um, February was crazy. I got to a point I burnt out at the end of the month. So to prevent burnout, I'm going to scale back on those minigame challenges, and I know that's going to result in my total suffering for March. I'm going to aim for 10,000 for the month of March and get myself to max 4x. So I think I was like exactly at uh, 1,000 parcels on March 4th. So wherever I was at the end of March 3rd, add 10,000 to that. So I think that is about... And I'm actually taking a look right now. You're not seeing this, but I'm okay. 1,273. So my goal will be 11,300 Atlas bucks for the month of March. A much smaller goal than February, than even January. But maybe this is a little bit better for my own well-being, and a little bit better to keep the channel going as well. And just real quick, here is the beer money portfolio. As you can see, there isn't much of a change. However. Amazon M Turk and Atlas Earth, I'm going to have some cash out on tomorrow. So on the next video, you'll see changes there. And Microsoft Rewards should also be pretty close, if not there as well. So there will be a bump from the $296 here, and we will talk about that tomorrow. Not tomorrow, I'm sorry, Wednesday. So yeah, that is pretty much the video, everyone. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment below. Uh, how you did actually on Atlas Earth in February. And also, what do you think about Atlas Earth coming to Canada? So that's coming in on Wednesday, and I'm waiting to gather up some information on that before I make a video on it, but it is coming out Wednesday, just letting you know. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.